Let's go, it's the Whitey Show. Man, there's like no new games for like the new systems. Well, I'm about to shut your face up! Okay, I'm sorry. Strider is a platforming side-scrolling action game. I played the original back in the day in the PS2 one. I think it was the PS2 one. I didn't really like that one. So I have some knowledge of the series, but I'm not like a mega fan or anything. I saw the high action combat and the cool art design, and I decide, what the hell? Might as well try it out. Strider's story is basically going into these places, these big buildings, and killing these big bad bosses. Or bad guys. The action is fast, something like Ninja Gaiden, and you'll be slicing and dicing your way through all the baddies. So, is this little action game worth picking up on the Xbox One or PS4? We're about to find out. The positives right off the back are combat and style. The combat does have like a couple of combos, not too many, but every time you do attack an enemy, it looks so damn good. Slicing up, down, sideways, going under them, kicking them, pop, 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 slash, 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 whatever. It looks fucking sick doing it. I love how the color designs, where they're like flashing and the sparks every time you slice people up, and the environments all look pretty futuristic and stylish. I like that. You'll get more moves and such the further you progress through the game, too. Even unlocking this like dragon-like summoning weapon that kills foes. It's not really as cool as I thought it would be. I like slicing people up. I think the new moves, though, like sliding, uh, slashing down, and so on, really help become Strider, uh, make Strider faster, stronger, and better. And none of them feel like a wasted opportunity because all of them can be used inside of combat and out. The six hour campaign feels just right because you want to replay it on a harder difficulty. And let me just tell you, this bitch can be rough. Yeah, I know you like that, but seriously, I tried the hard mode, and it's taken me a while to actually get through the first level. I fucking am going insane, actually. The platforming is surprisingly fun and easy. Climbing walls, hanging upside down, cutting through bottoms, all of it works really well, and I have no complaints there. Not once did I fail my entire time of playing that the platforming was unfair in any way. The bad are minimal. The bosses really don't pose much of a threat. You follow their attack pattern and kill them. Which can be said for most bosses in games, but these are pretty basic. Even on hard mode, I didn't have much trouble with the bosses. I actually had more challenge with certain type of enemies. Your fuck, your fucking laser shits. I hate them. The story is minimal, and it's a shame, because I actually like this world a lot from what I played. A little bit more of a story, few more cutscenes, and this would have been even better in my opinion. Strider is the first game in 2017 that's brand new that I have to say is worth grabbing right away. At a price point of 15 bucks, it's easy to see why this bad boy is worth the 15. It's fast, fun, stylish, a reason to replay again, and you'll get your money's worth at 6 hours regardless. I'll be giving this little bad boy an 8.5 and believe it's a great game worth picking up for action fans and platforming fans alike who want a little challenge in their life. The end. Thank you for watching. Love you.